Welcome back guys, Josh here with you. Thanks for joining me. Tonight we're gonna to be going over a few different things than normal. Normally we do Goodwill box openings on this channel. Tonight we're gonna to do some pack openings of War of the Spark. Take a look at it. It goes on sale Friday, so I have not opened any of these in person yet. I did miss all the last weekend events of the pre-sale and pre-tournaments, but at least we get to jump in on the arena side. So let's take a look. We'll go. We'll kind of start off slow. This isn't going to be like the normal videos, uh, like I was talking about. We'll just start off slow, kind of looking at the commons. Then we'll start to speed it up as we start opening packs up. So thanks for joining me. So let's see here. Gideon's Triumph. Opponent sacrifices a creature that attacked or blocked. If you control Gideon. Player sacrifices two creatures, not bad for two mana. Flux Channeler, not too shabby. So I've already played uh, two sealed events. First one, I won five games. And then the second one, I just started and I'm one for one on winning. But I have to say, so far, I really like War of the Spark. I think they've done a great job. I like this Snare Spinner, two mana for a one three reach and it gets plus two attack I think that is really good. I use that in this um, seal event. Hmm. Okay. All right. Oath of Kaya. Enters the battlefield, deals three damage to target creature, and you gain three life. Opponent, whenever an opponent attacks the planeswalker you control with one or more creatures, it deals two damage to that player and you gain two life. Hmm. Not too bad. There are going to be lots of planeswalkers in this, so that's not too shabby. Always use an uncommon and common. I did use this. I did like this it's quite a bit. So it's two mana for a 2 2, but it can't be blocked with creatures' power greater than four. So that's good. One, I have not seen this card Charm Stray. One for a 1 1 lifelink. Enters battlefield, put 1 1 counter on each other creature you control named Charm Stray. Whoa. That could be pretty cool. All right, Talbot's Rager, one, two, deals one damage to any target and is pumpable. Not too shabby. Roll Reversal, ah, I don't know. We'll see how this plays out. Three mana, you exchange control of two target permanents that share a permanent type. I haven't played it yet. I did have it in a sealed draft. Not you. All right. I'm using both these cards right now. I'm running a green blue, actually these three cards. I am using Soren's Thirst. I think I used this on my first draft. It was decent. Deals two damage to target creature, gain two life. So just creature control, especially when you're in the uh, sealed event. Four mana for three, two flying. Enters the battlefield, you may return. non lane permanent control to its owner's hand. If you do, it's 1-1. One, one. All right. Ignite the beacon. Look at Johnny. Five mana. Search your library for up to two Planeswalker cards. Reveal them, put them in your hand, and shuffle. That is pretty expensive, but... Hatali, the sun's heart. Three for seven loyalty. Each creature you control assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. Hmm, interesting. You gain life equal to the greatest toughness among creatures you control. All right, so you can do that twice. Ooh, this is good. This was used against me tonight. I like this. Four mana for two, three flying. And when it enters, three life, you gain three life and draw a card. I don't think that's bad at all. I've seen a lot of talk about this on the goblin side. I think the goblins are maybe going to be able to make a comeback after this set. It's going to be good. Three mana for a 1-2. When it attacks, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. And then create 1-1 one, one goblin creatures for how many tokens is on Krintko. Not bad. Okay. Sunblade Angel. Six mana. All right. I did get this. So <laughs> that is a ridiculous casting cost. Six mana. However, this thing has almost everything. Flying, first strike, vigilance, lifelink. So, 
It's going to strike first, you're going to gain life, it's not going to tap, and it's flying. But that's super expensive. Bond of Revival. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. It gains haste until next turn. That's not bad for five mana. You can, ooh, this is one of the cool uncommon or er, commons. I like this a lot. Arboreal Grazer. One mana for a zero three reach, and when you play this, you can play an additional land. I mean, this is in my sealed deck right now. It is awesome. I'm pulling this on your opening hand. Good old Giant Growth, Rising Populace. Whenever another creature Planeswalker you control dies, put a one one. Not too shabby. I do like this Grim Initiate. One for a one one first strike, and when it dies, a mass one. So that it's like the Haunted Witness, really, in essence. So you and I are gonna take them out. Son Chandra, Fire Artisan. So I did get this in my uh, sealed poll. I don't know. I haven't used it, so I don't really have an opinion on it yet. We'll see. Come on, no win. Price of Betrayal for one. Remove the top five. Remove up to five counters from target artifact, creature, planeswalker, or opponent. Whoa, that is really powerful. You could just straight out kill a planeswalker for one mana, even though it's sorcery. That is cool. Gleaming Overseer, three mana, one four, enters battlefield, amass one. Dominic tokens you control have hexproof and menace. Oh, geez. I would say that's not bad at all for three mana. Awakening of the Vitu Gazani. Gazini. Put nine one one counters on target land you control. It becomes a legendary XX creature with haste. It's still a land. A nine nine with haste for five mana. Okay, take that. Cruel Celebrant. Two mana, one, two. Whenever, whenever Cruel Celebrant or another creature Planeswalker you control dies, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Not bad, I'm down with that. Bond of the Flourishing. Look at the top three cards in your library. You may reveal a permanent card from among them and put them into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order you gain three life. Okay. Karn's Bastion. This is going to be a big card, I think, with the pro free light. Choose any number of permanents or players, then give each another counter of each kind they already have there. All right, let's open up 10. No way, come on. There's a Mizzet. Niv Mizzet Reborn. Ooh, okay. We'll start over here. Soul Diviner. Two mana for two three, automatically not bad. Remove counter from artifact creature to land or planeswalker you control draw a card. Okay, not bad. Niv Mizzet Reborn. Ooh, one of each color. Six six flying. Enters the battlefield, reveal the top ten cards of your library. For each color pair, choose a card that's exactly those colors from among them. Put the chosen card into your hand and the rest in the bottom of your library. I don't know. That's one of each. Ooh, God Eternal Bond two. Five mana, five, six minutes. When it enters the battlefield, sacrifice any number of other permanents, then draw that many cards. This includes lands. When it dies, put this third from the top. Get out. God, eternal Ronas. This one. What is this? Look at that. Three God Eternals. Oh my goodness, this is epic. Death touch. When it enters battlefield, double the power of each other creature you control until end of turn. Oh my goodness, if you have a trample spell to come with this, end game. And they gain vigilance till end of turn. When it dies, third from the top. Enter the God Eternals. Deals four damage to target creature, and you gain life equal to that. Target player puts top four cards in the library. Whoa. From their library to the graveyard, and that's four. That's that does a lot for five mana, honestly. Look at the artwork on this. Gideon, Chandra, Rajani, Jace. Choose up the four target cards in your graveyard. If you control Bolus Planeswalker, return those cards to your hand. Otherwise, an opponent chooses two of them. Move the chosen cards in your graveyard and put the rest into your hand. Whoa. That's pretty powerful. Another Ignite the Beacon. Solar Blaze. 
four man, each creature deals damage to itself equal to its power. Whoa, that's kind of going after it. Narsit's reversal, two mana, copy target instant or sorcery spell that return into owner's hand. You may choose new targets for that copy. All right, commence the end game. Look at Bolas. This spell can't be countered. Draw two cards, then amass X, where X is the number of cards in your hand. Hmm, that could be good. All right. Another soul diviner. Third ignite beacon. Come on now. Tomic the disquin and dis disin disinguished advocate. Wow, that's quite a word. Lands on the battlefield and land cards in graveyards can't be targets of spells or abilities your opponent controls. Your opponent can't play land cards from graveyards. Flying. Hm. Whoa, two mana. For a 2 3 flying, I'll take that all day long. Command the Dreadhorde. I think this is one of those powerful, super powerful cards. Six mana. Choose any number of target creature and planeswalker cards in graveyards. Command that Dreadhorde deals damage to you equal to the total converted mana cost of those cards. Put those into the battlefield under your control. Ooh, that could really hurt, but be really awesome also. The Elder Spell. Two mana. Destroy any number of target planeswalkers. Choose a planeswalker you control. Put two loyalty counters on it for each plane walker destroyed this way holy smokes that's good dread horde arcanist two mana one three trample when it attacks you may cast target instant or sorcery spell converted mana cost less lesser two and equal to dread horde's power from your graveyard without paying its mana cost if that card would be put into your graveyard this turn exile instead that is going in red decks that's pretty awesome Legendary Artifact. You may put the top card of your library at any time. You might play the top card of your library. If you cast a spell this way, pay life equal to its converted mana cost rather than paying its mana cost. Tap. Sacrifice 10 non-land permanents. Each opponent loses 10 life. Oh, spark Double. This, I've seen a lot of things about this. Four mana. You may have Spark Double enter the battlefield as a copy of a creature or planeswalker you control, except it enters with an additional 1-1 one, one counter on it. If it's a creature, if it it's a loyalty counter if it's a plane walker, and it isn't legendary if the permanent is legendary. That is pretty awesome. Alright. Teferi! Ding, 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 ding. Each opponent can cast spells only anytime they can cast a sorcery. That is awesome. That is super cool. Till end of turn. You may cast sorcery spells as though they had flash. That's awesome. Return up to one target artifact, creature, or enchantment. Owner's hand, draw a card. Yes, Rolex. Apex hybrid. This thing is awesome for five mana. It's a four five flying trample. Enters the battlefield, put two one one counters on it. When it leaves, uh, profilite again and again. That is awesome. Oh, ooh, look at the mythic. Ilharg, the raised boar. Whenever it attacks, you may put a creature card from your hand on the battlefield tap attacking. Turn that creature to your hand at the at beginning of the end step. When it dies, you may put it third from the top. And then we have Damari and Archibolus. I like how that looks like Nicobolus's head. Creature you control have one attack. Add one green or red. Creature spells you cast this turn can't be countered. That is nice. Target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. All right, I like that. Rao, the storm conduit. Four mana for four. Whenever you cast, copy an instant or sorcery spell. Rao deals one damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Scry one. Minus two, when you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell, you may choose a new target or copy that spell. This is supposed to be really good in Commander. Three mana for three, four, all day long, flying. Don't even need anything else. But when you cast an instant or sorcery spell that targets a creature you control, exile that card instead of putting it into your graveyard as it resolves. If you do, return it to your hand at the beginning of the next step so that you can bounce creatures back and forth to recast them. Widespread Brutality. I've not seen this. Four mana, amass two. Then the army you amass deals damage equal to the power of each non-army creature. <laughs> Mobilize District. 
becomes a 3-3 creature with Vigilance. It still lands, ability costs one less for each legendary creature Planeswalker you control. And Ugin, awesome, awesome. Six, colorless spells you cast cost two less. That is epic, that is so good. Plus one, exile the top card of your library face down. Look at it, create a 2-2 two -two colorless spirit creature token. When that token leaves the battlefield, put the exile card into your hand. Destroy a target permanent. That, that's one or more colors. All right, guys, let's keep this up. This is awesome. All right, what do we have here? Ravnica War, exile all multicolored permanents. That is really brutal. Parhelion 2. I like this card. Not, I just like the premise of it. It's way too much mana, but... 8 mana for a 5-5 five, five flying first strike vigilance when it attacks create two 4-4 four, four white angel tokens that have flying vigilance crew 4 so if you get this out <laughs> and they don't get it destroyed <laughs> good luck to them god eternal kefnet I have this I'm running this right now in my uh, sealed event awesome card you can reveal the first card you draw each turn and if it's an instant or sorcery you may copy that card and cast the copy and it costs 2 less that is great. Single combat, five mana. Each player choose a creature or planeswalker they control, then sacrifice the rest. Players can't cast creature or planeswalker spells until the end of your next turn. Wowzers. Return target creature you control to its owner's hand. They just destroy all creatures. When I saw this, I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> this, this can definitely decimate somebody. Awakening of uh, Edvitu Gizani. Another one of these. Dreadhorde Butcher, two mana for 1-1 one, one haste. Deals damage to a player Planeswalker. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on him. When he dies, deal damage equal to it. Wow. You really gotta draw this right off the bat, I would think. Here's another uh, vehicle. 3-2 three, for 3, Trample. Becomes an artifact creature and gets 1-1 one, one until end of turn. Another Spark Double, I will take that. Ding, ding. All right, last 10. Massacre Girl is cool. I do like that. Five mana. Menace. When she enters the battlefield, each other creature gets negative one, negative one until end of turn. Whenever a creature dies this turn, each creature other than Massacre Girl gets negative one, negative one. Talk about a chain reaction. Another Solar Blaze. God Eternal Akatera. I think this might be one of the best God Eternals. So five mana for a six or three six double strike. Yes, double strike. Whenever you cast a creature spell, create a 4-4 black zombie warrior token with vigilance. Oh my goodness. And a pure white deck? That is epic. Plain white celebration. Seven. Man, a sweet mercy. Choose four. You may choose the same mode more than once. Create a 2-2 two -two citizen. That's all colors. Return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Proflate or gain four life. All right. Another massacre girl. All right. So that's it team. Thanks for joining me. Hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Are you enjoying Arena? What do you think of War of the Spark? What card are you looking to pull the most on Friday when the public is able to buy War of the Spark? I appreciate you joining me and we'll see you soon. Thanks.